The restaurant with the low grade is in Knoxville. Several critical violations are recorded in the inspection report. The grade is a 68 at El Ranchero Express in North Knoxville on Cedar Lane. That 68 is a failing score. Any grade below 70 is considered failing. There's been a follow-up report and we'll have that in just a moment. The inspector writes there was no person in charge at the time of the inspection, but a manager is always supposed to be on duty. Food temperatures were a problem. Containers of tomatoes, onions, and green peppers were at 65 degrees, and that's way too warm. 41 and below was the safe, cool temperature to kill bacteria. Food in the refrigerator was out of date, way out of date, by about four weeks. Ready-to-eat food that's in the cooler is supposed to be discarded after about seven days to prevent potential foodborne illness. There's more. Other ready-to-eat food in the cooler had no date marks on them, but they are required. A plastic bag of raw meat was found thawing next to a sink, and the bacteria-filled juices were leaking onto the surfaces of the sink and counter. The meat should have been in a container thawing in the refrigerator. Finally, dirty rags used to clean food surfaces were scattered around the kitchen. They belonged in a container filled with a sanitizer solution. The inspector has returned to El Ranchero Express in North Knoxville. The original violations were corrected, and the new grade is a 98. A couple of weeks ago, Rio Grande Mexican restaurant in East Knox County, that's off Strawberry Plains Pike, failed its inspection. The inspector has returned there as well. The initial violations were corrected, and the new grade is a 96. No reinspections are necessary at the top scoring restaurants, and here are the best grades of the week. Yassine's Falafel House, the one on North Peters Road in West Knoxville, 100. In downtown Knoxville, Walter Beer Works on South Broadway, 100. Here's another perfect grade, the Golden Garden Chinese Restaurant on Western Avenue in Knoxville. On University Avenue near Knoxville College, Soul Good Restaurant scores 100. In Maryville, the Foothills Milling Company on Washington Street, 100. The Taste of Thai on Town and Country Circle, that's off North Peters Road in West Knoxville, scores a 99. In Clinton, the Heavenly Hog Barbecue on Clinch Avenue also received a 99. And in Athens, the Double C Grill on Highway 30, it too has a 99. Restaurant inspection reports are supposed to be posted where you can find them and read them. Don Dare covering Food for Thought. All right, thank you, Don. And if you would like to look over all of this week's health inspection scores for yourself, we've made it easy for you to do that. They're under the News tab on WATE.com.